And you don't think any of this is a, an extreme ask? No, not, not at all. So you don't think it's extreme to ask the guy to have no kids and you have two kids that he should provide for? I date mostly the men that I date have no kids. So I don't So is it working not, to say something more serious? To the, Time out. the men that I'm they dating gotta now. They got to stop this. You ain't looking to date. You've been dating. You date nonstop. You're a raging serial dater. That's not that's not what you're trying to do. She keeps saying all the dudes that date, they ain't got no kids. Stop. You ain't dating these these guys. They y'all y'all humping on each other for an ex, for extended periods of time at best. Stop that. Simone. Simone, where you call me from? Dallas. Um, Dallas, how old are you? I'm 33. 33. What do you do for a living? I'm an esthetician. Esthetician. You have any kids? I have two. How old are your kids? 13 and 9. 13 and 9. Same man? No. No. Um, what's your birthday? Zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. May 16th. All right, let's do it. This is Simone, right? Yes. May 16th is Jenna Jackson's birthday. Mm. <laughs> you said May 16th, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. This is Simone Dallas, 33, um, esthetician, two kids, tourist. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? Um, a protector, a provider, a supporter, you know, good man. Okay, what's some deal breakers? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like men, liars, cheaters, um, men that men that don't follow through with their word. Okay, follow through with your word. Does he have to look a certain way? Mm, not really. Not really. Do you got to make a certain amount of money? Mm, enough to provide, you know. Enough. She being super vague. It can't ain't get nothing out of her at all. She like she being vague. She's sitting up here. What she got? She got two chillings. She two for two. She two for two, and she's looking for a provider male that's going to make things smack. Tell you what, it's already looking grim. It just don't work that way. Two chilling coming into the situation, provider male, automatically a technical file does not compute. It's conflict. She's 33, huh? She look a little older. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> can you say much yet? All right, so big he got a certain way. He just got to provide very vague, and that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah, so we're gonna turn the heat up. We're about to turn the heat up for you real quick. And let's see what she says. She's gonna have to spill something out. Kendra gonna get some up out of her. Hold on. To provide, okay. Um, this is Simone Dallas. Does he have to be in Dallas? Uh, no, not really. Okay, Her, yeah. Do religious um does his religious background and beliefs matter to you? Mm, just spiritual. Spiritual. Okay. What's the age range you would date? I would say twenty-eight to who's still I'm gonna say sixty. You go all the way to sixty? Fifty. Let's do fifty. <laughs> there we go. There we go. She 33. So she say. What start following the clues like blues clues? She says she 28. That means five years younger or up to 60. Twice her age. I'm smelling bread. They there you go. She either want a young thundercat, a younger, and I ain't gonna say young, a younger thundercat that could come in and, and, and make it smack, or she want that old that old guaranteed bread coming from uh mr sugar daddy so she either won't a dude that's younger that she could she'll take i'm gonna say either or she'll take a dude that's younger than her or like you said she'll take a dude that whenever he was 30 she wasn't even born yet that's just odd so why she why such a range like gavin said she chasing some bread she chasing resources young guy you know? she want young nug nug with some resources there you go. Oh. I, 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 e, dope boy. She don't care how you get it. Just get there it. There you go. It's, it's, understand, it's typically a red flag anytime a woman, uh, uh, 
a middle-aged woman like this, 30 in her 30s, says that she wants a younger man. Use a red flag. Like, because as Kev used to say, you in your 30s, you want a man in his 20s, and you want to provide a male, but typically men don't reach their financial strata until they're in their 40s. But you look for a 28-year-old dude. Gavin asked last uh, episode, what men are making this kind of money? Execs and D-boys and athletes. You ain't getting no, oh, you ain't going to All-Star Weekend and get no athlete. That ain't about to happen, sister. Guarantee it. Get bust down. That'd be about it. I'm about to say, but, or is it? Maybe she need to do the Kendrick cam. I don't know what's going on here. She being real quiet. All right. So I don't know. Let's see if she got more right. to show or tell. All right. See? <laughs> all the way to 50. Okay. All right, Simone, let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in a row. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Yeah, it... There we go. Oh, yeah. you got a robe on? What you got on, girl? <laughs> a robe, a little dress on. Uh, can we see that booty? Hey. <laughs> so, as you can see, all right. She said, I ain't saying much. I'm just waiting for his guys to hit the tail. She been real quiet. She, 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 keep that, she keep throwing that. She keep throwing that hip around. Let you get that profile. She said, "Look, see wow. this one." <laughs> so she keep throwing that hip at you. She let y'all know what T I is, as Mr. Walker say. And Man. from the looks of this Kendrick Cam, she desiring some resources. Oh, right. for sure. Understand. She could. She <laughs> okay. She definitely couldn't wait. Kendra said, "What you got on?" She said, "A little robe. I got a little robe. You know, keep throwing that hip at you. You see what it is, Kendra. Give me my provider mail or my my provider mail beta. My provider nug nug. Send him here. Look uh, look at here and send him here. All right. So yeah, like I said, she definitely was as they would say thicker than a snicker." <laughs> she gonna find what she looking for. She got the cleavage out, you know what I mean. And so, so what is so what is that? You come on, Kendra, and we always talk about presenting, you know, the world, if you will, with your best self. Was that her best self coming on here? And what some uh, something that's uh, just above lingerie or just shy of being a uh, nightwear? Well, it is nightwear. I'm tripping. And it's like lingerie with a robe. Is that was that her best presentation? Is that going to attract uh provider mail or is it simply the nug nug bat symbol? Ooh, and in the words of Mr. Diz, he said, Go ahead, crank up the nug nug back symbol. And as y'all know, it's new and approved nug nug back symbol. All right. And as we said last <laughs> episode, if y'all didn't catch it, we're gonna start uh you no know, theme in nug nug. So y'all gotta mm -hmm. we gonna come up with these themes as the weeks go on. It may change by the episode or but right now, wide neck, as you can see, he king nug nug right now. Yeah, he so, and he holding on to that throne pretty heavy. Ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, wide it's neck. It's gonna be hard to be from wide neck, you know what I mean? Wide neck, wide neck was OG nug nug, got some bread and bounced. So that's you know, he that's legendary. He, he, that's that's a negro negro right there <laughs> but yeah back to her so she ain't saying much let's see if she got anything more to say but that kendrick cam you know what it was she hit y'all with that so we're gonna start and let's go all the way to 50 okay all right simone let's do the kendrick cam oh i'm sorry i was in a row yeah. oh i'm sorry let me see yeah. <laughs> oh you got a robot Get on, girl. <laughs> Rope, a little dress on. Wow. <laughs> we see wow. that booty, girl. <laughs> so, does the guy got to make a certain amount of money? Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm a little, I'm not going to say I'm I'm not high maintenance, high maintenance, but, you know, I like nice things. I like going out to eat. I like going on trips. So, enough. What's that? That's a lot of money. Ooh. Trips. Ooh. Um, trips in itself is expensive. So, what's the amount he? Had, what's the minimum he can make to mm. date you? 
So I like my man to be a provider. So I would say at least 75,000. That's on the low end or more. Okay. Okay. So here we go. And Mr. Diz, I'm sorry, not Mr. Big. He was hitting on this a lot. All right. He was talking about, um, I'm going to bust my talking point there. Yeah, she. <laughs> she's talking about traveling. I'm sorry. Big E, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Look at the man. She started hitting on traveling. And Big E, last couple episodes, he was hitting on that. And he kept saying, well, we need to talk about this women. They keep talking about traveling all the time. And like she said, what do you got to do? Well, I do like to travel. I like to find her things. Put a number on it. And she say 75 on the low end. All right. There you go. And you know what? It, it's, it's the vague, you know, vagueness, if you will, for me. Because they say I like to travel. I like to go out to eat. Be specific. What kind of travel are you talking about? Are you talking about budget cruise ships? Or are you talking about? business class flying out to paris and stuff there's levels to traveling you can you could travel for the cheap cheap but what kind of traveling are you talking about you said it man she's so vague he got to make enough he got to make enough to take me out to eat and travel and do fine things but i ain't that expensive and kim's like traveling and stuff is expensive and then she's gonna come in with this talking about he only got to make 75k on the low end like, like, what does that mean when they say on the low end? That means if you come in making seventy five k, you better be looking like uh, what's the, what's the dude that play uh, Michael B. Jordan, you know, off of the last uh, Wakanda movie. Well, you know, I just saw that movie, and man, I was talking to my wife. They they had Michael B. Jordan. Everybody, I'm going off course, but I got to get this off. People were so amazed that uh, what's that Harvey girl that she left Michael B. Jordan because y'all allow cinema to confuse y'all and trick y'all so much. Michael B. Jordan, which well, that's what she want, by the way, if he come and make a 75K. Michael B. Jordan is not Killmonger. <laughs> the character, I swear to goodness, they think that Lori Harvey girl was was uh, in a relationship with the character Killmonger. Some, some war-torn badass brother who out here conquering the, the whole world that's who that's who they want so if he come in make 75k he better walk in there you know saying like a uh, uh, michael b jordan's killmonger but if he come in making you know 150k now they talking about they don't mind saying a quarter million now if he come in making a quarter mil he could be around 60 <laughs> you see it's that sliding scale 75 is the lowest. So you normally take men that make 75K, I'm assuming. Uh, they're usually mostly not uh, like IT, IT so what's, men. And so they, what's going on with those guys? Uh, I date. I am dating. So okay. I'm dating. <laughs> Fair enough. What is, is the goal to settle down with one person? Yes, it is. The right man. The right man. Oh, okay. Simone Dallas, 33, tourist, esthetician. Um, do you want more kids? Yeah, I'll have a few. Mm. Cause the guy have kids. Mm. Mm. I, preferably two and less, you know. Two or less, mm -hmm. okay. Preferably, um, but, you know. Say what? Preferably none, really none, but you know. But you have two kids. Yeah, but me, me and my kids, I would say, see, I deal with baby mamas and it's just drama, it's just. Woo, -hoo -hoo -hoo. you heard her. She been dealing with baby mamas, and it's just drama. I, <laughs> I bet it is. You dealing with nug nugs and nug nug other baby mamas, and you walk up there and oh, the insecurities when those meetings be at an all time high. So, so, this so here, here we go. go. I'm about to say I hit on this last time real quick because y'all they want to come up here saying it's fine. Granted, you say I don't want a man with kids. What I say last time. Send your kids with their daddy. Mm -hmm. This is a simple equation. You want to come up here with these demands? Send them kids with their daddy. Then you can start trying to hold somebody ransom. But until then, <laughs> there you go. And so, you know, and don't come up here saying, Oh, 
I can't send my kids to their deadbeat, ain't nothing dusty dad. Then I tell you what, you gotta understand that's a double edged sword when y'all women make those statements because you also show in the world who you thought it was okay to give your most precious commodity to. So stop. As Gavin said, give those kids over to their dad. Then you got a shot. Then you got a chance to have somebody negotiate with your terroristic self because she is wild. She make she said she prefers that her man don't have. No kids. She got two of them. She two for two. But so she ain't got to deal with insecure, blowed out, other blowed out baby mamas. She prefers her man don't have any. I get it. I definitely get it. Huh. So here we go. Shout out to PC76 in the building. How you feeling tonight? Also, let us know if you got your merchandise. We sent you out your gear. Let us know if you got that in the mail. That'd be awesome. All right. He said, look so long, you get just 20K, huh? Man, y'all rough crowd tonight, huh? <laughs> hey, you know what? Her, you know, her that that mugshot ain't her strong point, but she she got all her eggs in that basket on, on her figure. And that's who do too. She she thicker than frozen <laughs> molasses. But that is that ain't gym. That ain't gym shape. She barely looks she could move. I don't got I don't know what she got going on. But it's it's smoke and mirrors. It's you know what I mean? She know what it is. That's why she came on here in a nighty and a robe. She got to give you all she got. She know that she know what that is. So yes. Shout out to Mr. Diz in the building. If women can't afford to travel or go on luxury shopping sprays, etc., on her own dime then there's no reason why any man should supply a woman with the things unless she can earn it with that man. I agree. There you go. And and that's the problem. Earn it with that man. Build with that man. The culture has since got rid of that concept. There ain't no building. Ain't nobody trying to build. But it's through building, as you said, Mr. Diz, it's through the building that you get this you know, these kind of relationships that these women long for and they don't want to admit it. But within that comes interdependence and vulnerability. And today's modern woman don't want nothing to do with no interdependence nor vulnerability. Ain't happening. There you go. So, there you go. That done and done. So, but yeah, she, she got all these demands because we've said it time and time again. Every single time this is to walk outside, Nug Nug and and people of the like, they giving her the highest compliments. She don't leave the house without something brazy on. Y'all know what this is. This is Sundress Shoddy. She showing up with her new Nug Nug and she working on her, on his baby mom's nerves. She showed up to the little picnic or something with the, with the Sundress. So y'all see what it is. And like I said, in those circles, uh uh issues and insecurities been at all time high very volatile situations that's why she don't want her man to have no other baby mamas because she knows she's gonna work the uh the baby mama's nerves yes sir man you got couldn't have said it no better than myself <laughs> also shout out to my man big e for the cash app right now big e is the show sponsor for the night. So we're going to salute Big E in the building. Big E is most definitely the show sponsor. You know, if you can support the show, support your interest, you know, um, Cash App's pinned to the top of the chat. It's also in the description area. We're going to get back into this. We're going to mine through this. Because like I said, she started off being humble. She wasn't saying much in the beginning. And then Kendra, after she did the Kendra cam, then she started coming with her demands. She said, I ain't saying nothing so I can show y'all the product. Good, granted. Because sometimes they come on and they all gas and they stand up. You'd be like, whoa. She said, I ain't saying nothing. I want to let y'all taste, go. show y'all the product, let y'all taste it and all that. Then I'm going to come with my demands. I, you know, well, like it's, it still qualifies as sick modern woman hoodoo because she should have stepped back. I want to see. Cause it's bull crap, man. They be having, they be wrapped tighter than a mummy. 
all squeezed here and squoze there. <laughs> I I'm not buying it. She full of crap. This is she. This is bad. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna see what else. I'm gonna see how she, how uh, deep she dig this grave. I'm gonna see. Drama on their end, and then you know, me and my kids are like kind of extra. So you know, I like. I don't know. I don't like sharing too much. I don't like sharing. So it's just you know. So you want a guy to provide for you and your children, and not to have any kids. Based pre preferably, yes. Do you want more kids? But, yes, I have more kids. Okay, so you'll have have a, a kid for him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Uh, probably the first week of January. Okay. Okay. You just asked. You told you told us you were dating. Why do you think you're single? Mm. Um, I haven't settled down. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't settled. I don't know. He I hasn't settled I, down. You you must understand. She keep thinking she gonna keep leveling up because she probably gets so much attention. She go to Walmart, throw them leggings on, and you know what I mean. That ultra top or something all brazy. Every man in there howling to the moon. Y'all know how this go. And she getting the abundance of attention that she shouldn't be getting, but maybe from her husband, her baby dad, her man, whatever. But you know, and she interested why she said, "I just ain't settled down yet. I just ain't ready yet." She 30 some years old and ain't settled down. She two for two. I don't know, lady. I'm trying to tell listen here. We here to help. I know usually I, I don't mind helping y'all crash these crazy trains, but I'm I'm feeling helpful today. Ladies, understand something. A, a sister like this, she built brazy, whatever. All of the fat seem to have failed where most men like it, okay. But at a certain age, ladies, your metabolism starts to hate you and it shuts completely down. And you do not want to be in her situation thinking anything all gravy. Y'all still, y'all know how y'all eat. Y'all be busting down on, on the, the fattiest, most calorie rich foods, KFC and, and, and all the Chick-fil-A and waffle fries y'all can muster. So, but it, at some point, it's going to come to a head. So she said here, she decided not to settle down yet because she could still ride the uh, the uh, the baloney pony carousel. But at some point, it's going to come to a screeching halt. And the only person, she's going to look around and she's going to notice that the only man that's howling to the moon is the dustiest of dusties. And then that's when the regret going to kick in. But by that time, it's too late because you at the wall. Over. So how old are these children? I didn't catch that. What thir I think 13, 19 around there. Okay. I, 19. Yeah. 19. I, I could 13, 12. I can't I could be off. I could be off. I will be off. Okay. I got you. So we got I don't two think of the none, none younger than eight. Shout out my man Big E. He said, I went out with a with a headshot show you this weekend. You don't know angry. Oh man, she got you. Oh, hey, man, that ain't right, big, big e, Hey, man. E, hey, my man E was like, yeah, I got me a cutie on the line. My man E showed up. Oh, oh. hey. <laughs> it's all right, E, because redemption is on the horizon for you, my brother. There you go. You got our blessings, brother, man. No more headshot shorties come your way. Yeah, to, damn that. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. I wish yeah. I could have seen your face though, because it's all I know it's a shock. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I mean, you might have been at the restaurant and you sitting there waiting, and she came around that corner, big E, and you were just like, damn, you can't run now. I guess you're like, oh, okay, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. You tell her, look, we eating all apps tonight. Cause I ain't no, nah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, yeah, this is appetizers yeah. and some water. This is an appetizer date. <laughs> We're going to eat these apps. Something come up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's classic. All right, shout out Mr. Diz. He said, no, that's the problem. I'm sure she has come across some cool brothers that she probably deemed lame or boring. We always say that. They in your inbox. They trying to hit you up. We say that yes. all the time. Yes. Man, all right, go ahead. What you saying? No, that's it. 
That's Mr. 40 Hours a Week. Mr. 40 Hours ain't necessarily no stunner. Ain't necessarily a looker. You have since forfeited making these demands for this individual. Let that let that alone. They and you're right, Mr. Diz. They turn down Mr. 40 Hours like it's nothing. And they start making videos about it. They they uh make little videos where they in the mirror talking about I got a date with this nice guy, but you know, he's too nice or he's not my type. Y'all, women, if you ask me, when it when it comes to think talk, they always say that men think with a little head. I beg to differ. I think women are much more notorious for thinking with the little man in the boat than thinking with their actual brain. Swear to goodness. Because all they worried about is if that brother makes them tingle. And that's what she worried about. So we're gonna let her keep my yeah. finishing this. Well, off. she ain't settled down. She's yeah. still getting pushed down by ball players and, and imprinted on probably something crazy. Oh, something terrible. <laughs> so that's the problem. She done had so many men in her day that all the kind of guys that she liked, and now she on the back end, and they probably ain't coming no more. And she like, look, I know what I used to be able to get. There you go. There's a point. It's safe to say, ladies, it don't keep messing around and and uh you know playing playing uh, vaginal roulette with so many guys that you like. You can't be sitting out here, you know, saying having physical intimacy with 12, 20. I, I'm, I know my number is going to be low for y'all. But, you know, 10, 12 dudes that you like, you like these dudes. And they all then gave you the best night they could give you. That You imprinted on. It's over. You can't do that. You can't. You can't sit here and mess with Idris Alba. Mess with, you know, uh, Michael B. Jordan or whoever your Denzel Washington is and then have to go, you know what I'm saying, marry uh, a Barack Obama. Y'all know that go west. What did y'all love Barack? Y'all know y'all don't. He ain't tickling y'all fancy. A brother like Barack Obama with that proper talk. Come on, let's drive it home. He could, have, he could be driving something nice, be a, uh, a um, provider male, but he ain't that rough neck thug nigga that y'all desire so much and that's her she gonna keep she gonna keep doing it she gonna keep riding this baloney pony carousel until that wall smack her right into that strong mug of hers and then it's over and why would a guy be lucky to be with you let's see i make my money i'm a hustler i take care of my kids um I'm nice. I'm sweet. I'm nurturing. Um, I keep a clean house. Uh, <laughs> I don't know a, a lot. And there you have it. It's Simone Dallas, 33. She'll date 28 to 50. Um, the guy doesn't have to be in Dallas, or does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. okay. But the um, like fly me out, you know. Oh, I have to fly you out though if he's not in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she says she's kind of high maintenance. You have to fly her out if you're not in Dallas. 75K is the minimum. She prefers you have no kids. If she must deal with the child, she could deal with two. Mm. She has two kids that you have to deal with and eventually provide for if you want to be with her long term, correct? Mm -hmm. And you don't think any of this is a, an extreme ask? No, not at all. So you don't think it's extreme to ask the guy to have no kids and you have two kids that he should provide for? I date mostly the men that I date have no kids, so I don't. So is it working to something more serious? To the time out. The men that I'm they got to stop this. You ain't looking to date. You've been dating. You date nonstop. You a raging serial dater. That's not. That's not what you're trying to do. She keeps saying all the dudes that date, they ain't got no kids. Stop. You ain't dating these these guys. They y'all y'all humping on each other. For an ex for extended periods of time at best, stop that. You the man that you're trying to land and retain and keep. That's why Kendra asked you, do you not think that your demands are steep? They're a little extreme, silly woman. Because you're trying to keep this man now. Yes, Mr. IT up on the 25th floor. Yeah, he'll take you out to Ruth Chris or wherever the heck you want to go. Anywhere, Mr. Childs, wherever. 
and spend a night, a weekend with you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? P- play around with you for a couple weeks, but that's it. And you know it. That's what time has shown her. So you got to stop that. Just because these guys will date you don't mean that they look at you like, I want to be with you. Because we've covered it before. If that, if one of these well-to-do IT guys, as she say, if one of these IT guys wanted you, they would have been locked you completely down. Completely down. Uh, well, unless she aging like a fire bottle of wine. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Only thing that age like wine is wine. Like Danny Nicole says, she wild. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Diz, and that's a no for me. I'ma keep it moving on this one, brothers. Yes, sir. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. Yeah, we ain't we ain't yeah. Ain't it's over. Me. It's over. Now, but please, I'm gonna keep saying it. Understand where her delusion co- where does her delusion come from? She say, I know I'm about 33. I know I got two kids. I know I'm two for two. I know this mug ain't the best. You know what? But big ups to her for coming on with no makeup. I know Dan Wilson well, got no makeup on. But big ups to her on that. At least she ain't, you know, she she's so confident in her figure because all that fat fell where most dudes like it. That she said, I don't need no makeup. I she got some more. I don't know what she on her head. From the from the from the <laughs> the collarbones up, she looked very homely. But she said, I I can't wait for Kendra to say do the Kendra cam because I got on a damn 90. You're gonna see these hips and these cheeks. <laughs> That's what you go see. And then and then I'm gonna make the demands for my man. But little do she know she got the game messed up. The only man she didn't hearken for was El Nug Nug for sure. Shout out to Stern, my man in the building tonight. What you got going on, brother? <laughs> Ellis, what's going on, brother? What you doing, Stern? What you at? Shout out to our brother Stern in the Navy, our man out here protecting our borders. What you know about it? He said, Mr. Walker, only thing that ages like wine is Smith and Wesson. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but yeah, she ain't aging like either. So no but yeah uh, what's going on tonight brother what time is it over there let me know if you're available we'll drop the link for you for sure big shit and we'll drop the link for you if you're available we're cooking tonight yeah no i told them exactly you know i'm not i don't play games you know i'm not here to have fun so mm. Do they agree if they want something serious as well? Um, the last one that I was dating, you know, he that's why I say no kids, because he had a whole ba- two baby mamas. It was just kind of a situation and it just didn't really go nowhere. No, I get it, but I'm saying the guys that you date with no kids, um, are do they do they give you the anticipation that they want to settle down or they want to just date? Yeah, they um they do want to settle down, but it's just, I don't know. It never, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's them. You know, I just don't like to settle. It's them two kids. That weekend be up. That brother, he leave that money on the dresser. He like, I got to go home to my wife. You understand? You don't understand how that works, huh? She just, she, this sister don't know nothing about nothing. She don't know why someone would be really lucky to be with her. She don't know why she's single. She don't know nothing about nothing. Only thing she know is she's like, I know I got <laughs> some yams. That's what I do know. I know I can get some form of results. And I, yeah, I know when I leave out the house, the type of tension I get. I know when I post pictures on Instagram and I post these TikTok videos, I know the type of attention and responses that I get, Kendra. I know what I'm, I know what I'm worth because I know my responses. No matter where I go, I get these responses. Likes, loves, and all that madness, and and, and making the dudes who weenie heart does not equate to what could be a, a successful relationship. 
you this is silliness and that's that's where it's got to stop every woman every woman the all police come on in here if you want to every woman that come on here they equate dating with men that will potentially marry them and that is insanity insane this is the only time that carpet forwarders will allow the all police come on in here and, and fact check this if you feel like it every woman equates men that will deal with them sexually they say oh well i guess we could have a relationship if i decide to settle down if i decided not to settle cap all cap and like you said she going down this road 90 miles per hour she don't know it's a dead end and there's a gigantic wall at the end of this road and she getting nearer and nearer to this wall she gonna run head first into it and that pool gonna dry up faster than you can blink man and that's what we don't want to see that is the saddest thing we starting to see it on social media today where these where some of these women that y'all champion they start to hit this wall they start to come to the grim reality that it is that they are finding it impossible to sustain a healthy, fulfilling relationship. It ain't happening. They like, oh, I don't know why he holding it against me that I had an OnlyFans. I don't know why he hold it, hold it against me that I was a scripper. I don't know why he hold it against me that I did XXX videos. I'm, why can't they just love me for me? Accept me for me. Be understanding. Shut up. Dumb. Hence our show, single by choices. Single by the choices that you make. That is true. So we'll let her finish up here. We'll because we got a lot more cooking to do tonight. So let's let her finish off whatever she got to say. What would you be settling for in the guys that don't have no kids? Mm, sometimes they work too much, but you know, I guess that comes with it. Right. They do work too. Absolutely. Much. Now, you know, if you want a man that makes a certain amount of money, he's gonna be a working man. Correct, correct. But I still expect, you know, I want to wake up to a good morning text every morning. I need you to be call me at least, you know, just little things. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Simone, let's do it, girlfriend. And like you said, she got that body on her. She won't, as you always say, a woman's supposed to like you and be head over heels for you more than you are her. But she wants this man that's like that's gonna like her more than she likes him, i.e., texting me good morning, beautiful, and all that, sending me edible arrangements. I want him to be focused on me. She don't understand. After that yeah. night or that weekend, that brother on with his life, he he got the world to conquer. So he out her slaying dragons. Nobody got you ain't that you ain't her. There you go, huh. straight like that. You who you whoever you think you is. You think she is she, but you ain't her. You're not. You're not that. You're not it. So with but all good them try. Right, all that validation you get is it's like false validation, if you will. So. Yes. She well, it's validation like a mamma jam. We know what we know. How yeah, I was about that. to let her keep talking. I was gonna pull her Instagram up for the crowd. Let me, how let can me the guy reach out talking. to you, honey? Instagram. Um, my Instagram's XOXO Simone. So XOXO Simone S I S Y M O N E S Y M O N E S Y M O N E. So XOXO S Y M O N E. Then XO. XO after that. Oh, so XO in the beginning, XO at the end. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so her name is XO XO Simone XO XO. Does that come on, man? That sound like some some porn hashtag. Here we go. There we go. XO Simone in the building. I guess Big she XO. gonna get what she looking for. All right. You said hold her beer, Mister Walker. Who do? Oh, that's 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 nug nug all day, nug nug. You know what? And she here we go. So there's a silver lining here. We often like to uh, say which kind of nug nug these silly modern women qualify for. She in the club. I know, I know. <laughs> which which nug nug they qualify for? She qualified for pretty much any nug nug, ranging from couch negro 
all the way up to you know the D the D boy baller. She can get it all. She can get any nug nug she won't for sure. So there you go. She 33, two kids. Uh you got the hoodoo going on, the hoodoo, she do. So she said y'all just That's seeing so her before she going to bed. All right. She just get ready for bed. So she said, check her Instagram. All right. No. So there you go. She she qualifies for a lot. Let's see if she get, see if she land on this star. You know, uh, as Mr. Did said, certified bust down. Let's just keep it a buck. That's it. You know what? And we talked, man, Gav talked out about this before this. She either qual if she is looking for remnants of monogamy and commitment, yada yada yada, then only person coming through is is nug nug. However, if she says, you know what, I'm gonna decide to be more practical about this, and I'm gonna go ahead and take myself off this top shelf up here with the with the douce and the, and the whistle pig and all that. She she ain't up there no more. She said, you know, I'm gonna take myself, it goes around mid shelf. And you know what? I think I'll be a dope super bomb indefinite side piece. Now you may get a man that is a provider male, but he ain't gonna be just for you, don't you see? But you you see it's compromise because you are single by the choices that you have made, but you can still make choices, but you gotta. Bring your goofy ass up off that top shelf because you don't belong there. Come on down. That's all. She um uh, the net net of it is there is a man. Her problem is retention. I don't think she has a problem landing these men. Obviously, we all know <laughs> so so here we go. She need to do her analytics like we do, like here on YouTube and stuff. She need to go say, Look, I can land these men. I done got men driving Mercedes, you name it. All right, I'd have been in the hotel room, penthouse suites, you name it, vacations, yachts, you name it. But they won't text me that Monday morning after the weekend. She said it. So her problem is retaining these men. And that's what she got to work on. It could be the two kids, like I said before, send them kids with their daddy. And you may start getting some different results. I say that to all single women. If you got kids and you shooting for the stars, first thing you must do is send the kids with their daddy. Then you can start negotiating. There you go. Straight like that. Yeah, send the kids. She's she, she to... 32, two kids. Look like she's straight out of VT. Oh, man. He said that, <laughs> not us. Just the messengers. <laughs> hey, straight like that, Ellis. That's real. This is this. They keep doing the same things. Yeah, come up off that shelf. So what's the lesson with this one here? You ain't top shelf. Come on down and just make make a deal that's going to benefit you because it's over. You ain't – she ain't getting what she want. <laughs> ain't no provider male coming there taking care of her two kids and not having no kids and giving her and taking her on vacations and trips. She – he would look like a fool doing this. He ain't going to take care of her. He's going to take her on vacation and trips. She's been doing it. She coming up on that wall. She's 33. She can go on vacation. She can go on trips. Ain't nobody sticking around for a long time. And ain't nobody being reliable. So even if you are that man that paid the water bill once, she can't rely on you for month to month because you, you don't really want her like that. There you go. So you only you only gonna pay that bill if you want some out of her. There you and go. That's why she got to keep a roster of men. So if she keeps six, seven men, she can constantly keep them bills paid. It's, it's going to be some simps out there that's always going to pay them bills. We must understand that part of the game. That's crazy. That's that's wild. Good luck to her. I hope she finds happiness. Stern said her problem is she can't recognize the pattern of men she attracted. That's true. Kind of like a Willie hit on. If she came down to that middle show, when it found her a pipe fitter or something, just a brother working, Mr. 40 hours a week, as we call him, she won't honor and respect him because she's already imprinted on. She already has life experiences that no regular man can provide for her. She already been on yachts and been taking the beaches and overseas and stuff. A regular guy gonna come in here just doing regular guy stuff 
and she always gonna be thinking about that guy that that beat that box on that yacht or up it you know what i mean you can't trump them experiences there you go that's why we so harsh on women like this we cannot tell mr with a with a with a uh clean heart we cannot look at mr 40 hours a week and say hey go ahead and try to make it work with this woman because she is on she preset to cheat on you brother she preset to break your heart and there'll be them kind of brothers that do land her every time she leave the house they tracking her phone they worry about where she at that ain't no life to look because she quote unquote out of your league and that's a whole nother subject man yeah <laughs> yep there you go you shouldn't so, be but in her mind she is there you go it, and as she looks and that's what she mean by settle she said I re, i'm not settling down because i refuse to settle because she look at mr 40 hours a week mr pipe fitter whomever and say oh i'm settling for this because i'm out of his league and like i said that's a whole another topic that we're going to cover later on but yeah we do not advise any brother worth his salt to go into this because if you ain't checking all her boxes, she gonna check out. It's a fact. Straight like that. So with that being said, make sure y'all hitting the like button. Support the show. Hit the cash app. It's pinned to the top of the chat. We appreciate it. And make sure you're sharing this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and the backup channel. Which go. the link is in the chat. I'll drop it back. There.